This must be Adrian's. Stenzel. Stenzel. So the glasses are a match. Yep. There he is. To my Adrian. This thing gets more and more interesting. Ticket to Seattle. Who's ticket to Seattle and a suitcase gone missing? Someone couldn't wait to get out of this house. Wait, pick it up again? Check the back. Can you check the back? Yeah. They have separate rooms? Separate bedrooms, separate pictures. What gives here? Something's definitely up. Where is it at? Optimistic call. <laughs> the music plays whenever Are there's clues to be finished. left to be found. Wait, they never finished? What? I'm aware, but every crew. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I see that. Maybe possessed by Satan. <laughs> Heater, the plot the thickens. Huh. <laughs> Seems like the assailant is a little closer to home. There it is. All the clues found. I'm all right now, detectives. All right, the slaughterhouse receipt. receipt. <laughs> trunk of your husband's car for a live pig. This receipt was made out to an F Morgan. A pig? Awfully proud of you. Thank you. Thank you. Adrian I think if I looked business. hard enough, I that actually have Frank a, uh, God knows what he's up to. Uh, I actually have a book back in the day that like gave you all the information for this game. You notebook. What is the book called? Google. <laughs> uh, I think she was telling the truth there. Maybe doubt. What makes you say that about Morgan, okay. ma'am? He's the foreman at my husband's plant. A very shady character. I told Adrian he needs to keep his distance from the staff. They're always out drinking together. Kavanaugh's Your husband bar. frequents Kavanaugh's bar? How did you know that? Adrian practically lives there after work. Truth. So Adrian spends a lot of time. Up until recently, he's been away in Seattle a lot. Yeah, right. Business. That's not her, right? Yeah, she's Margaret. Did your husband tell you where he was going last night? All he said was he was going to meet Frank for a drink. 
So nothing out of the usual then. Okay. Well, he came home early from work. He never comes home early. And he went out early too. He normally never leaves for the bar till about seven. Was your husband wearing his glasses when he left here yesterday? Yes, he just bought a new pair. Doubt. Did we? Wait, what? His glasses? Broken and repaired, found near our abandoned vehicle? Yeah. That's a lie, Margaret. You know exactly what Perry was wearing because you were there. You're being flat out ridiculous now. Whoa. Why don't you show me some proof of where I was supposed to be? Do I do the glasses? Are there a seat? A train ticket? I'm turning the head. If I was there, at least I'd know what happened to him. But I don't, detective. And you might not care. But that is the most terrible feeling. Tell us about the photo of Adrian in the bedroom. What is there to tell? It's from his most recent business trip to Seattle. Seventy-six percent of the community chose the correct one. Lie. There's plenty to tell. You just won't tell it. You're lying about the photograph, Mrs. Black. Jeez, that's so hostile. Rude and insensitive. But I guess you know that. I've told you what I know about the picture. Wait, where is it? Sealed message. What about Nicole? Hey. Was your husband going to leave you for her? I've seen the photo frame. <laughs> he thinks I'm stupid. That's what women sense these things. I don't know. If he intended to leave me, or he uh, was just like, God only knows. He wanted to fake I his death. I know that he's safe. Alibi for Mrs. Black. I think you should come clean with us, Mrs. Black. Your husband is missing, and after our search, I'm willing to call the circumstances suspicious. Can you account for your movements last night? You're not accusing me, are you? Oh, what an awful thing to say. I was here all night, of course, waiting for Adrian to come home. I think she's telling the truth. Is there anyone okay. who can vouch for that? Well, no. I, I was here alone. I cooked Adrian's dinner and waited, but he never came home. We'll keep you informed, Mrs. Black. Five out of six. Please do, detective. Yeah, it, it comes and goes. Sometimes there'll be like a bunch of people that come through and chat. Sometimes though, it's just like some people work, lurking. I have a few friends that like leave my, like they'll come in um, and then they'll like leave the stream open or something. You can drive. Fine. Where are we headed? Kavanaugh's bar. Set his destination. 
Yeah, sometimes like three people will all of a sudden start chatting at once, and then sometimes or like three Jeez, to like four or whatever. And then sometimes they'll just be like quiet the for a bit, life. and then one he's person, I don't know. Too much of a it's very like inconsistent. If this hadn't happened, they could have stayed miserable together forever. You think she could have killed him? She sure as hell doesn't seem the type. But stranger things have happened. Uh, the old ticket was left behind, right? But the suitcase is missing, right? Yeah. Yep. Eleven thirty-one. KTI. The time to find hey, out. I know you. No, you don't. That's one heck of a Sunday. We were at school together. <laughs> uh, how about you buy me a drink for for old times' sake? I uh, really. Bourbon. A uh, tall glass, no ice. You looking for someone? Uh, uh, just bring me the bottle. You know Frank Morgan? Sure. Frank's a regular. He's a loner in the back. Oh shit, he's here. Everything is fine. Thank you. Frank <laughs> Morgan? Who's asking? Oh, hello. Oh, Phelps, LAPD. I understand you're a friend of Adrian Black. Yeah, I know. Are you aware that he's missing? No, I hadn't heard that. Tough break. We found Black's car abandoned in a freight depot, covered in blood. You know anything about that, Morgan? Hell no. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. I like Adrian. He He's a good no, boss. Please, don't tell me you actually believe this jerk-off, Phelps. Uh... <clears throat> not chugging that like it's water. <laughs> Wait, do we have anything on him? Serve the suspect. Wait, go back. If I want to just view the notebook without... Oh, wait. <sighs> Doubt? Why? What? You're lying, Morgan. You were there. And you're talking out your ass, detective. How about you prove I was out at that rail yard? Ah, oh, shit. I don't know which one proves that. Oh, wait. Was his, the uh, The wallet? Adrian Black found near a vehicle, right? Wait, no. No, he's not Adrian Black. He's... Adrian Black's the guy missing. Uh... Uh, the pipe is connected to him? The pipe? Like the steel pipe stained with blood and the water heater? Didn't he... Isn't he installed, dude? Is he? Uh, look at his outfit. Saval. Uh, water heater. Fire. Dated recently. Full cool co. Well, if it's all the same to you, I'll go back to my drink. Might be the receipt. I wish it would give me more information other than like just this. When did you last see Adrian? Hell, I don't know. Uh, I had plenty to drink last night. Things are a little sketchy. Doubt. He was on his way to meet you when he went missing. You're gonna have to do a lot better than I don't recall. Ah, oh, fuck, I forgot he that. He had a couple and then left, I guess. Maybe he had to go meet someone. 
That's the best I can do. This doesn't add up, Morgan. Your excuses don't help. Let's see how you enjoy the LAPD taking an interest in your life. You want my opinion? Lutel Morgan. I say he's lying, and whatever hole he's got Adrian stashed in, he's got to go back there sometime. I may look up how to be better at this game. I don't understand. See, this is the issue that I had back in the day, too. I didn't understand, like, how to match things. Like, simple things I get, but, like, in sure a case like him. Kind of flashing your tailing too slow closely. I bet he wishes he'd rehearsed that story better now. Yeah, literally. Oh, wait, I thought he just went left. Sorry. <laughs> I'll follow him from back here. Obviously they don't. You're, yeah, you're the LAPD. <laughs> now would be a bad time to forget how to drive, Cole. Oh no! Morgan's apartment, 5.43 p.m. Well, let's check the place out. Come on. The shadow. Day one of the big time, and you're already tailing drunks home from the bars. What is that? Are you having fun yet? I told you it was nonstop glamour work and traffic, didn't I? I'm just trying to learn. Oh, come on, Phelps. Save the creepy teacher's pet stuff for Leary. One work on me. F. Morgan, number two. Apartment two. Also number two. Yeah, he does. All right. Let's pay our friend a visit. See if he's missed us yet. Who the hell is that? Will you relax? Oh, that's him. Jesus, Adrian, I told you, we're in the clear. I'll get it. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> it's over, Morgan. Mr. Black, LAPD, give yourself up now. I knew it. Phelps, go after him. I'll try and head him off in the car. Remember, the gun is the last resort. There's no point running, Adrian. Jeez. Runs fast for a big guy. Mr. Black, get back here right now. <laughs> It's over, Adrian. Why not just come clean with her, Black? Why the melodrama? I thought it would be easier. No, it just got a whole lot harder. Adrian Black, you're under arrest for conspiracy and fraud. We'll see what the DA has to say about wasting police resources on a wild goose chase like this. You're gonna lose your wife, 
lose your job, and probably end up in the big house. I hope she was worth it, Adrian. <laughs> that turned out to be quite some case, huh? Adrian, what an idiot. You got an arrest and a clearance in your first case, and in fine style, too. Well done, detective. Efficient investigation technique, good public presence. You keep that up, and you learn from Bukowski here. You could go a long way in this department. Not bad, not bad. We found 13 out of 14, really? We are missing one. Frank Morgan would have rolled over on Adrian Black with some tougher questioning. Oof. 9 out of 12, I mean, it's not bad. Vehicle damage, $23. Consoles, car. All right, hold on one second. I'm going to take a quick break, and then uh, we'll go ahead and continue. Ah, <sighs> okay. So what's our uh, case here? People... Case objectives. Not abandoned vehicle call. This time brand new, left in an empty lot off 2nd Street. Mr. Oswald Jacobs, a local resident, claims that he saw the car dumped. In my experience, these neighborhood watch types often more of a hindrance than a help. Bukowski and I will need to work this scene and take his statement regardless. Abandoned car in a parking lot. Okay. Actually, let's make him drive. You're behind the wheel. <laughs> I'm waiting. It's filled with bricks of cocaine and six dead hookers. You hear about Adrian? Brought in Seattle, threw him out. Wife says she's gonna take him back. Women generally show more compassion. What are you huh. talking about? Adrian dumped on her. He was humping the secretary. Margaret should show some pride. Pride comes before a fall, Murkowski. Talking from experience. Nice. Crime scene. Wait, what? Jacob's backyard. Phelps, traffic. I'm Officer Hulan. Cars down the alleyway, detectives. We got a call about an abandoned vehicle? Yes, sir. The car has flags. Might be some kind of diplomatic vehicle. Has anyone touched this vehicle since you arrived? No. And that Jacob's bird over there was on station before I got here. We'll talk with him in a moment. Give us some time to look the place over. Sure, take your time. He's a sore-headed old son of a bitch anyway. <laughs> Where is he going to? I'm at a loss. Check the car and the surrounds. This is a crime scene. We don't want anything missed. Empty. Okay. Tracks. Or that. That works too. Nope. Uh, okay. Never mind. Swab the underwear for Owned by the Argentinian Embassy. Argentinian Embassy? Interesting. Somebody put it on blocks. <laughs> Stealing the wheels is for amateurs. The car ring would have stripped it in a warehouse. Missing license plate. Okay. <laughs> uh 
combination wrench. Must have used it to remove the wheel lugs. Do we bros? I don't think this is going to help us. Okay. Take some pictures of me and the bottles. Seems irrelevant. Uh, let's call, uh, nice, perfect. <laughs> Spanish and Portuguese is born in Los Angeles. Trust me on this one. <laughs> Phelps badge 1247. I'm basically Spanish and Irish. How could I help, detective? Could you run the name Dewey Brothers? Possibly a dealership or car mechanic. Actually, Artin Ar uh, Argentinian, technically. Dewey Brothers Packard Dealership, 629 Figueroa Street. Got it. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> New objective, investigate Dewey Rose dealership. Okay. Is so there... It still says there's some more clues here. Hey, you got anything, man? Advice? Have a good look inside and around the vehicle. See what you can find. This doesn't pertain to the case. <laughs> I don't think this is any use to us. What else we got here? Have you seen anything, man? I don't know why you're doing that, buddy, but I wish you'd stop. Oh. Surrounds. This is a crime scene. We don't want anything missed. Hmm. Oh, it's missing the, the flag as a souvenir. The flag. Any street value. There it is. All right, what's your idea now? Any ideas? We better see what this Jacobs guy has to say. The car was dumped in his backyard, after all. Oswald Jacobs? That's right. This guy was in uh, the new Bill and Ted movie. What exactly happened here, Mr. Jacobs? Last night, I was looking at my I don't know if he was in window. the original, too. But... I like to keep an eye on what's going on. I can understand that. You see this empty lot? Damn kids play stick He was in the original? Here. Okay. Always breaking my I never windows, saw the original. Always asking for their ball back. Can we get back to the car, Mr. Jacobs? Don't be impatient, What's his sonny. face, Dad? <laughs> Anyways, last night I see this brand spanking new Packard Keanu up Reeves. on bricks. Uh, next week I'll be 26. Observe the suspect. Recording... Yeah, let's do this. Did you see who stole the Packard? Hell yes, I did. I saw three goddamn <laughs> Mexicans going to work on it. Can you tell us what they were doing? Truth. Using the headlights of an old Ford so they could strip the thing. I yelled out to them, I'll call the cops. So they loaded up their car and drove off. 
tooting and hollering and yelling obscenities at me in Mexican. You speak Spanish, sir? No, I do not. <laughs> See the first two, it's like a law. Ask your partner. <laughs> Hispanic suspects. After the uh, Mexicans left, you didn't go anywhere near the car? After I scared them off? No, I didn't go anywhere near that car. Yeah, but he took the flag. Oh, yeah, maybe. But I don't have... I want to doubt him. You went out to the car. Doubt. Once yeah, they okay. were gone, you had to take a look for yourself. I was curious. Ain't a law against that. So what if I took a look around that car? You can't be accusing me of nothing. Yeah, I don't have any evidence to accuse you of something. Possible suspect Tell me about vehicle. The car they were driving. It was an old Ford. I didn't catch the license number. That's all right. He's telling the truth there. You look like the kind of guy who notices details. You're right there. The car was old, but it looked brand new. Candy apple red paint job stands out a mile. Hmm. What exactly did you see them take? They was working on the tires. That's all that was took. Uh, stolen Packard, registration slip, missing wheel, missing license plate. What about the license plate? Why did you take the license plate? Me? Well, what I do with license plates? You saying I have them? Scratching around in that book won't prove nothing. You should show me some respect. Okay, Boomer. Thank you for your help, Mr. Jacobs. Let's see, you have a monitor download. It can be accessed via the pause menu. When you get the three out of four isn't bad. Maybe you could come back and do something about those kids. Well, how about we bring you an umpire's mask? Jacobs dumped the book he was reading in a hurry when we walked up. Curious what he didn't want us to see. Uh. Okay, so we have the owner of the vehicle, a degenerate. I'll run John Madsen by R and I. Contact details on a William Dewey. This looks like business rather than pleasure. What's your plan? So what next? I think we've wrung this place dry. Let's find a game well. Investigate the Dewey Brothers dealership. Investigate Jacob's deck backyard. Okay. driving no i want you to drive bro you drive i need to go over the case notes yeah this has got to be the 50th abandoned vehicle call we have caught this year one more and i'm gonna go crazy not your favorite cases you kidding me this is barely even police work <laughs> all the bad guys in this city we get lumped with the ones who can't even be bothered to keep what they steal
Baby Bros dealership, 2.14 p.m. Attention, veterans, use your bond to buy a car. Delivery Don't tell me today. You were making your way past the lot, caught sight of the new model four door, and couldn't help yourself. You could see yourself in that car and just had to take a closer look. Well, I can't say as I blame you. <laughs> LAPD, Mac. We'd like to speak with the owner. That's me, William Dewey, proprietor at your service. We're investigating the theft of a Packard belonging to the Argentine Embassy. Are you missing a combination wrench? I don't know, detective. But I know how we can find out. Follow me. What do you think? Take a look around. We need hard evidence that connects this place to the abandoned vehicle. We keep all our tools in here. Kiara, spark plugs. It would take a smarter man than me to connect that. No good to me. You sure you guys aren't interested in a new car, huh? Maybe a used car. I have some nice used cars for guys in your wage bracket. Why don't you give us some alone time, Dewey? Go sell some cars or whatever it is that you do. That's not right. Oh, there it is. Of how we're putting away his tools for him. Yeah. One left. A three fourths. Gabriel Delgado is missing a three quarter. Still nothing. Doesn't look like anything. Uh. Help me out. We'll need a full statement from Dewey to put in our report. Uh. Maybe. No. No good. We need diplomatic police. Oh, we got everything? If you don't mind, we have a few questions. Packards are great cars, but this doesn't look like the kind of place favored by foreign embassies. How do you know about this? I don't know Valdez. The embassy bought the car. All I know is he must know a quality car when he sees one. Valdez was just driving Fuck. by and he saw the car. 
Yeah, something like that. Happens all the time. Oh, the profile picture doesn't match him. Okay. Where can we find Delgado? I don't know. Sure, that's one thing here. that we can use. Doubt. Address, Dewey, or my partner shoves her head in a car door. Okay, Damn. all right. Apartment 3103 Hill Street. And tell him from me, if he ever shows his face around here again, I'm going to kick his butt from here to kingdom come. A wrench from this dealership was used to strip the wheels from a Packard last night, Mr. Dewey. A couple of Hispanics were seen taking parts. We've had a spate of thefts ourselves. Comes with the location. It's even bastards to steal anything the minute your back is turned. So that's Fuck. It. Like I said, the workshop's too close to the street. It's difficult to keep an eye on it. We'll be keeping an eye on you, Dewey. And spreading the word that you don't like to cooperate with the LAPD. Time to visit Gabriel. So Delgado bad. See how good his excuse so is. So bad. I don't. I don't get it. You know the way. You can drive. So where do you want to go? I'm gonna make this the last case for today, and then hop off afterwards. Tomorrow we'll we'll uh, pick up where we left off. You read the story in the Examiner about the Navy developing three-dimensional movies? What's a dimension? <laughs> you know, like a graph. Vertical axis is Y and horizontal is X. Well, that's clear as mud. Third dimension would be Z. So things would be popping out of the screen. That's ridiculous. You scare people out of the theater. God's name would want that. Mm -hmm. I don't know. People scoffed at the idea of talking to color. Look what we have now. Only they knew about VR. <laughs> Elgato's residence, 2.28 p.m. Okay, let's see what Gabriel has to say for himself. I just hope our Archangel hasn't already flown. What the hell is this guy doing? Hey, that's that cop. Seems like a decent guy. Uh, where do you see a number three marked on that door? <laughs> Yet. LAPD, ma'am. We're looking for Gabriel Delgado. Gabriel? We're from the police. Policia, you understand? Yes, I Whoa. understand. Could you come inside? Oh, rude. What is your name? Ana Rodriguez. Is Gabriel Delgado here, Ms. Rodriguez? No. What do you want with Gabriel? Is he in trouble? Stay where you are, Ms. Rodriguez. We need to take a look around. But he is not here. I have told <laughs> yeah, you. Yeah, check yeah, out that the surrounds. I'll stay with the broad. Yes. So how far along are ah. you? Nearly 20 weeks. Right. So, so how's it going to be move. when you go into labor and he's not around? You are wrong about Gabriel. He will be a good father. Already he Nothing works hard to provide for us. Unless you help us here, Anna, your little one won't be seeing Papa for a very long time. Difficult to tell whether it's the suspect vehicle from the scene. Well, certainly Gabriel's pride and joy. <laughs> There's two plates. Serving breakfast for two, Anna? You should have cleared up. Don't think this is anything.
junk. Whoa. Not sure this means much. Why is there a shirt out on the bed too? You look at that stolen wheels. Not everything here is going to be relevant. And the license plate, diplomatic license. This isn't what we're looking for. That's everything. All right, let's go have a chat with the fine lady. Just come clean and we're cool. Everything's going to be You're all right. In serious trouble, Miss Rodriguez. But Gabriel is not here. I have done nothing wrong. Why did he steal the car, Anna? The customer insulted him. He has his honor, no? He steals cars to support you and care for the baby? How can you say that? What makes you say that? The stolen plates. What? I have my own job. I work at Union Station. If I have to, I will bring up our baby. That is all I have to say to you. Wow. I don't, Tell us I don't the truth, understand, Anna. man. Has Gabriel been here? I haven't seen him for at least three nights. All right, well, obviously that's a lie. You keep lying to me, and I'll send you and your baby to jail. He lives here, but he hasn't come home. I swear it. Except for the food on the table. Enough, Anna. There are signs all over this place that he's been back. <laughs> Shouting gu guilty is optional. He was here last night. I have never seen him so angry. He went out to his shed and put some things in it. I don't know what and I don't want to know. I love him. Here we go. Diplomatic plates recovered. We found a license plate matching our stolen vehicle in the shed. Add in the assortment of parts, and we can make Gabriel for a dozen other thefts. It's time to get serious. <laughs> you must ask these questions of Gabriel. I know nothing of these car parts. Uh, except for the ones in the garage. You're lying, Anna. I think you're a willing accomplice in these robberies. What proof do you have that I stole the cars? Uh, actually, she's right. I don't. Sorry. My mistake. Doubt. Then tell us where he is. If your baby is born in prison, Anna, the corrections officers will take it from you. You will see your son <laughs> or daughter through a metal grate for half an hour a week. The start line is on first and Santa Fe. Cole is bipolar, literally. There is a spillway under the bridge that leads to the river. Many policia have wrecked trying to follow him. Oh, we'll snap. put a good word for you, Anna. As far as we're concerned, this sits with Gabriel. Start line. 
That sounds like a street race to me. It's gotten out of hand this last year. No wonder Delgado has such an eye for fire. Now answer my question. <laughs> we know where the kid is. Let's go stop these clowns and get them off the streets. Hey, that's that cop. Seems like a decent guy. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Uh, yeah. Where are we going? To the street race. What kind of man leaves his pregnant girlfriend at home while he goes off to play cards? Pregnant girlfriends aren't always a barrel of laughs. Everyone needs to let off a little steam. Some guys wouldn't come back home at all. Are you talking from experience? So There's the red it's four. That's literally Delgado broad right date light. Illegal street race. Quick! They're getting away! Phelps, 1247. Requesting assistance at first in Santa Fe. Reports of an illegal street race. Stay on Delgado. Getting away. Gonna lose him. Quick as we shut one of these races down, another one springs up somewhere else. Kids used to steal cars to sell but now they just want to wrap them around a bank. The next 16 year old I have to feel off the sidewalk, you're called. I've had enough of those to last me a lifetime. The God of is our boy, forget the others. <laughs> Go back when he snacks. Step on it, fellas, take him out. Enough games, Phelps. Take this guy out. We got a foreign dignitary out as a fruit and a kitty raper. A car dealer we're gonna let slide for the kickbacks. And a street punk car thief who sure as hell won't be taking liberties with other people's autos again anytime soon. That Detective Phelps is not a bad haul. You keep your chin low and your hands high and you keep bringing me clearances just like that one. That's textbook policing and we need more of it in this department. Phelps like, yeah man, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Possession of soul and pro property, eluding police, speeding, reckless driving. Damn, he's getting with, hit with everything. Console's car. An audience with console general Valdez might have given you the thief as well as his motive. Ah, uh, if we got his information. I see, I see. Gee, six out of ten. It's like a sixty percent. <laughs> Sergeant Clay was not going to hold back the, you have any plans to the uh, 